Well, hello there. We are back for episode two of Project Azul. What I'm doing right now is just checking to see my progress so far, cleaning up a little, uh, giving some cleaning, cleaning up some of of the what's it called? Writer's notes, just little side notes that I've. Uh, made for you for me for later just a little more condensation this is before i uh, came up with my brilliant idea to condense in a more um more sensible manner and of course you can see my playlist is a little confused Reorganizing this title menu. Got some input going on here. I think soon here I set up some output so you can see what exactly is going on when you press the buttons. Of course, just for now, just cleaning up a little bit more. I decided to change that. Didn't doesn't really matter because how that works, I, it would just be a change of me setting it to false later. Or rather, what I what I had there was um, that running is not equal to false so as long as loop it as long as it is not equal to false what I just set it to is that as long as it is equal to true so it's the same statement it's just written differently put up some uh, usings do 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 <laughs> for some reason I'm Seeming to have some troubles that I don't quite understand at the moment. Oh, I think it regards the uh, input output. Is this? I don't. I don't think I recall working on the input output in the last episode. Hmm. Anyways. Somehow my videos seem to have gotten <laughs> labeled differently, so I've got a few, like I've got two sets of one through four, and I've got one set of from 11 to 26 or whatever. It seems like there's a lot missing, but it's really not. I just need to get the the ones earlier on sorted out. <laughs> Oh, that, and there's, between my, my clip, was it, between clips 8 and 11, there are 10 videos, so I just set them as 9A through e, through F. 12, there's 12 videos. 9A through F and 10A through F. Which is kind of funny, because there's no way those could be one episode. I mean, I could try to do it if you wanted to see things literally just flashing on screen and disappearing. <laughs> All right. Well, it seems that this is at four times speed rather than eight, which is what I had been doing before. But I didn't want to end up with an incredibly short video for you, so I decided to go a little bit, you know, take it a little bit slower. Um, if you would rather see it, you know, full speed, or uh, not full speed, at eight times speed or 16 times speed, go ahead and drop a comment beneath. But for the moment this is this is going to do
think I might have been a little bit slow on the day when I was coding this bit too. Because I seem to have spent a lot of time doing not very much. Of course it looks a little bit cleaner now, but... Anyways. So now I've got the menu options all set up. I think what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm seeing where did I possibly mess up. I had to change songs because I was kind of done listening to the, the one that I was. And you can't <laughs> you can't move code when you're debugging. Apparently, according according to this debug this uh yeah this debugging program I have, which you might notice is actually just the original compiler. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Then that's not available in that loop or in that uh in that using that set of usings. This would be that using set, wouldn't it? In theory. In grammatical theory. And I still have not <laughs> fixed the the thing, beta beta gamma, no, alpha beta gamma. Just cause. Till I come up with a better name. Ah, uh, here we are. 80, 80. Oh boy. Title screen, I'm just going to juice it up a little bit so that people get a something to see, I guess. And 37, that's not quite enough. There we are, that's, that's a little bit better. It'll do for now. I don't know why I, exactly I did this, but I basically just did the same thing. <laughs> I just erased a bit of code and completely replaced it. So writing the uh, what happens when when you press enter. In at the title screen, it just kind of goes to whatever. Sets it to the next menu. Um, when it's the second, it sets the, the menu number to something else, depending on what option you're, you've selected. And right here, I was like, well, it, nah, hey, I don't need that, do I? Because there's only one option number, but, you know, whatever. Just for clean cleanliness, I suppose. I kept it around. Um, had to go and remember the the hard way. Load a profile. I think in the the third episode, I actually adjust the compiler so that it's the uh, the same. And that's my simple way out for quit at the moment. It gets changed around a little bit. And at this point in time I, I did I did know what was wrong, but <laughs> Oh and that's that's my temporary fix for that. Uh, kind of honestly can't wait to uh, to get to around to episode six or seven or so because then you'll be able to see the 
the cleaner way to have done these few things that I've done. I don't have it. Oh, there we go. I do have exclamation points. I think I had to copy and paste those. Failure. I think right here I just go to show you, or maybe I'm looking to find out precisely what I'm doing, showing you a little bit of the code for project. Uh, <laughs> It's actually, yeah, it was actually Project uh, Burgundy there. The one that I started and didn't really finish. <laughs> kind of put it on the back burner for now. So when I was looking at my other code, I realized, oh, this whole loop hasn't been clearing before. So what it would do is it would write one thing and then it would just write on top of it. New worlds. I think I end up writing new wars like seven times accidentally. New number is equal to five, four, four. Five is quit, I think, in my menus. It gets a little disorganized, but that's okay. When I do my final cleanup, it'll be. <laughs> Easter egg or something like that, right? The things that some people will never see, would never see. Do do do. This is, say what? Oh, another. Hmm. Interesting. All right. This is this is what can be seen now. This is the progress that I kind of just made. There we are. <laughs> this kind of I had a freak out moment because I was like, I, I changed what one line? I changed where the break was or whatever it was, or where the return, something like that was, and it changed everything. And I was like, oh, look at that, it works now. That's the key little key. So I cleaned up a lot in this video. I didn't actually do a whole hell of a lot, but I did did clean up a bit. Make it run a little bit, you know, smoother in a, in a sense. And I think right here I try to get clever. <laughs> try to be do the cool thing, like, you know, like the cool kids. Cool kids do their cool thing. It works as soon as I have no no noticeable effect. So the menu loop does officially at this point in time work. Granted, I'll probably spend the next four episodes fleshing it out, but 
it technically works. Anytime you go into a new anything anytime you change what you want visible, you have to clear it. It's sort of one of those rules. So now it shows that. Mm. This probably three minutes left. I'm just gonna set up the little quit menu. I think I'm going to change that what the quitting says. Yeah, so just for the record, for those of you who weren't necessarily sure where this game was going, it's it is going to be a bit on the the vulgar side. <laughs> So yep, and I that one thing right there, that one using had like fifteen errors or twenty one errors or something like that. Putting that one using there got rid of all of them. Very important that you keep keep up with your usings. So it doesn't actually show anything, but. I think that might be where we go with the next episode. So, I hope you enjoyed. This is Cupcake here on my way out. Stick around.